In this video, we're going to talk about more about frequency distributions, and in particular histograms, which are a graphical, uh, visual um, depiction of the frequency distribution. Okay, so this shows the um, raw height data from the 30 people in our sample. Um, and this is from the last video on distributions. So this is just the raw data, one height for each of 30 people. And then this shows the uh, frequency distribution created from the raw data. And so, uh, again, this is just a much more simple, straightforward um, way of looking at the data. So we've got our bins that we created here of heights, the um, number of observations that uh, in our data set, in our sample for, that fall into each of the bins, and then we have the percent of data that falls into each of the bins. So down here is a histogram, which is a graphical uh, depiction of the data from the frequency distribution. So you just see that the bins are uh, lined up on the x-axis, and then in this case we're graphing percent on the y-axis. So uh, we've got 61 or less, um, which is 7% of the data, and that this is about 7%. So the histogram shows you um, what proportion of the data fall within each of the bins. So you can actually just, at a glance, um, the area that um, is covered by the bar is equivalent to the proportion of data that fall into that bar, or the bin represented by the bar. Okay, so this is a histogram. This is sort of the basis of um, distributions, and uh, now we're going to talk about some characteristics of distributions. So the shape of a distribution can tell you a lot about the data. So there are a number of different kinds of distributions, and um, looking at these two on the top, you can see that these distributions have tails, meaning that one and uh, extends further than the other, okay? So this one has a tail on the right and this one has a tail on the left. And so uh, distributions that have tails are, are called skewed distributions and this distribution is positively skewed because the tail is pointing towards higher numbers, okay? Whereas this distribution is negatively skewed because the tail is pointing towards lower numbers. So the skew is in the direction of the tail. And then here at the bottom, this distribution is a normal distribution, and um, meaning that it's symmetrical. Okay, So uh, there's an equal number of data points on either side of the midpoint of the distribution. Okay, so this distribution up here is a positively skewed distribution because the tail is moving in a positive direction, is pointing in a positive direction. This one is negatively skewed because the tail is pointing in a negative direction. And then this distribution is normal because 50% of the data are on each side of the midpoint. So it's, this is a symmetrical distribution. So um, by looking at the shape of the distribution, there are a number of things that we can tell about the distribution. And one of the most important things we can tell is the lo relative locations of the mean, median, and mode. So remembering these are uh, measures of central tendency, uh, which is a single number that is best characterizes a particular set of data. And um, so let's start with the mode. We remember that the mode represents the most common value in the data set, okay? So um, for a distribution, the mode is always at the apex of the distribution because this is the value um, that is most frequent, most common in the data set. So the mode uh, falls right here. And then we can go to the mean. So as we remember from um, discussing the mean, the mean is the measure of central tendency 
that is most affected by outliers. And so in this picture, we have a positively skewed distribution, um, meaning the tail is pointing um, towards is higher numbers, so the outliers are um, of higher values. So the tail always represents the outliers. And so the mean being pulled by the outliers is always going to be towards the tail. And then the median is always going to fall between the mode and the mean. So the median will fall about here. So this is true for a positively skewed distribution. And in general, for a positively skewed distribution, the, um, the mean is, is furthest to the right, the mode is furthest to the left at the apex of the distribution, and the median falls in the middle. So let's look at how this plays out for a negatively skewed distribution. So here's a negatively skewed distribution um, as uh, shown by the fact that the tail is uh, pointing towards the lower end of the values. Um, and again, um, we can tell where the mode, median, and mean fall relative to one another um, based on the shape of the distribution. So again, the mode is always at the apex of the distribution, so um, that would be here. And the mean um, is always um, pulled towards the outliers, which are in the tail. So the mean is going to be on this side of the mode. And um, as we said before, the median is always going to fall between the mean and the mode. So the median will be here. So in the case of a negatively skewed distribution, uh, where the tail is on the left, the mean is to the left of the mode and the median is in between them. And so those are systematic patterns and you can always be sure if you see a distribution um, that's skewed to the left that the mean will be on the left, um, the median, then the median, and then the mode. And then um, for the positively skewed distribution it'll be the reverse. So for a normal distribution, um, again, uh, as always, the mode will be um, the apex, which is in the center of the normal distribution. And uh, the median is also in the center because the definition of a normal distribution is that it's symmetrical, meaning 50% of the observations are on one side and 50% are on the other. So the median is also in the center. Um, e it's equal to the mode. And finally, the normal distribution is also characterized by having the mean at the center. So for the normal distribution, the median, mean, and mode are all at the same point, namely the center or apex of the distribution. So here's a grand review of what we've just gone over. So we have for a positively skewed distribution that looks like this, um, the pattern is that the mode is less than the mean median, which is less than the mean. Okay, so this is true for all positively skewed distributions. For negatively skewed, it's the opposite. The mean is less than the median, which is less than the mode. And then for a normal distribution, the mode, median, and mean are always equal. Okay, so those are important characteristics for you to remember um, about the relationship between the shape of a distribution and the location, relative locations of the mean, median, and mode.